Okay, I thought I'd do this one because it's uh, pretty quick. You only have to find the internal uh, uh, forces in two of the members. Um, you need to find it, the one in, in this one here and uh, in, in this one here. Um, and it's completely symmetrical. This whole thing is very symmetrical. So if we can figure out some things on the right side, we'll, we'll know the same things on the left side. These are pin supports, so it would look originally like something like this. Okay. And uh, we want to try to find uh, uh, ups and downs. We have uh, four uh, down right up here, four down. And then uh, uh, we'll figure out what some of the ups are and things. So we're going to do torques again first. So we're going to do a, a uh, pivot point right here. And uh, we'll go over to here in the middle. That's two over uh, times four. And that would be a, uh, a clockwise torque. It'd be eight for clockwise. And uh, so then the only other thing we have is a, a force here, and we actually know that has to be going up because that has to give us the other kind of uh, torque. And this is four over, so it's going to be four times F. And then this F then is obviously going to be two. And uh, now we can do ups and downs. We have four down and two up, so that means over here, um, this uh, force, let me just erase this here real quick. This force right here also has to be up, and it has to be 2 also, uh, which is pretty maybe obvious from the beginning. You can just probably kind of figure that out. Um, what about these things over here on the side? Um, well, they there are no other lefts and rights, so whatever they are, they'd have to be, they'd have to be equal. And uh, in this case, uh, they're going to be 0. We're just going to consider them to be um, no forces there at all. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, we're going to look at uh, this point E right here. And if we have a 2 going up, we need, to, we need something to balance that out. Now this thing here can't do anything about it. But this one could. This one could be a over to the right. Let me erase this arrow out of the way here first. This could be an over to the right and a down. Okay, And we know that this would have to be a 2. Now, uh, we need an angle in here, um, so we could do, uh, we could figure out this angle here. This angle here, the opposite side, if we do this whole triangle, like right there, this is uh, one and a half meters, one and a half meters over here, and uh, this is uh, two meters here. So the tangent of that angle uh, would equal 1.5 over uh, two. Okay, so if I if I do that, 1.5 divided by 2 inverse uh, tangent. Um, let's see, what does that what does that give me? 1.5 divided by 2 inverse tangent uh, gives me 36.9. 36.9. Um, I'm going to take 90 minus that to give me this angle in here. 90 minus 36.9 would be. Uh, uh, that angle in there would be a 53.1, okay? And so now I can figure out what this side is here because I can do tangent, tangent of 53.1 would equal um, x over 2. And if I do that, um, I get like a 2.66 going to the right. If that's going to the right, that means this thing here was a 2.66, but I never had to actually figure out that number, so it won't matter. So I can do Pythagorean's theorem on these two numbers right here, and I end up getting, and I know that this is going to go down like this, and so it's going to go up like this right there. That's a compression. And if I do the Pythagorean's theorem on those two numbers, you should get like a negative, well, it, it'll end up being, you put a negative on it, 3.33 should be the uh compression in this in this member here. Now, if, if you just keep going up here, this point right here, we have symmetrical stuff. We have a force coming in here, which actually is no force, zero, which means this is zero, which means if this is 2.66 or 3.33, then this would be 3.33. So we know what it is in this one. And if we know what it is in this one, it's the same in this one because each side of this thing will be symmetrical. So so this will also be the 3.33, negative 3.33, which is the other one you are supposed to find also. So, so both answers, this member and this member here, would be a negative 3.33.